I thought I'd just uh, introduce the uh, incubator room. We've uh, been spraying the um, the cornicing and the battens, and there's been um, one problem is that uh, the primer takes about an hour before you can do a recoat. So in my book, that's about 40 minutes to 50 minutes too long. So we've got a little incubator room. Now I could tell you that this is where we get the little little fellas, and we heat them up, and overnight they go into these big fellas. See those big fellas? So from these little ones, like this, we get one of these. And then, once they've grown to the right size, we clip them down, so you can see these ones here are actually being clipped already. So, you see how they're clipped? And it actually stops the growing. And then from there, we can actually put them up into the quarters. So what I've done is I've actually gone and got uh, probably the best part from a Ford motor car. The best part you can possibly buy from a Ford motor car. And it's probably the only part from a Ford motor car that I would actually own. And that is a uh, radiator fan. Now, it's the best part from a Ford motor car because it's actually made in Japan. So what I've done is I've got a little PC power supply there and hooked that up to the fan. And that's actually blowing air across these. So our drying time's been reduced from about 50 minutes or an hour down to about 20 minutes. Now just to give a bit of a demonstration of what this little fan's doing. Oh, this is just a PC power supply, right? Power on that big fan. I'm about eight meters away from it here. Well, okay, I'm about four meters away from it here. And have a look at that. Well, it's actually blowing a fair bit of air, which is quite surprising. So what we've actually been able to do, like instead of painting these all by hand, we can actually just go, just put them on the sides and just spray it. So the spray takes about, not even five minutes, it's basically, basically takes as long as for me to walk from one end to the other. And they're done. And then we can just flip them onto the sides, do them again, and we're done. So at the moment they've got two coats of primer on them. These ones over here have got one coat of primer. Um, yeah, so there you have it. So we've got uh, we've got everything boarded up, so no dust can get in here. We've got tarps down, so the floors stay well because we want to keep the wood floors like no paint on the wood floors. So when they get sanded, um, windows boarded over. Got the air conditioner on. It's actually uh, outside. It's about 38 degrees Celsius at the moment. Um, beautiful Queensland day. So. We've actually got the aircon on just to cool the air a little bit because it's actually too hot for painting. So we've actually got the room probably at around about 26, 27 degrees Celsius, which is still fairly warm. And, um, and the fan blowing across and circulating that air. It's also a good practice because you get ventilation. Um, some of the paints these days can be quite, uh, quite, well not toxic, but they can leave you gasping for, uh, for fresh air, put it that way. So. Um, yeah, there we have it. Oh, I should show you the little, uh, this is what I finished off the other day. So this is a little cupboard for um, where I put the audio equipment on. Now it's a bit dark, as I've got the windows, windows blocked off. But um, if you had to see my previous post, you would have seen where I uh, boarded that up with Jiprock. So it's all uh, sitting quite nice at the moment. There's probably a little couple of little rough areas I want to touch up, but um, that's pretty much almost ready, so I'll put some. I'll try to put some sliding drawers in here, um, and so they'll just slide out, and then we'll put a uh, a sliding door across. So yeah, that's pretty much where we're up to. We think we've actually picked the uh, finally picked the colour for the corner thing and for the battens. Um, had a, a fantastic guy from the paint shop that uh, he basically said, "Yep, you got two options. You can go with this and this." And lo and behold, we are, uh, yeah, great, absolutely brilliant service. So thanks a lot. All right, that's about it. So I'm just sitting here waiting for uh, waiting for these to dry a bit, and then I can flip them over and give them a, start the next coat, and then we'll uh, keep going.
Right, thanks for watching.